So yesterday, I made a video analyzing some leaks from a supposed Fire Emblem game, and uh, a lot of people thought they were fake, myself included. I didn't really believe that these were from an actual Fire Emblem game. It kind of looked like some kind of Chinese bootleg game. However, today we got another screenshot that was posted, and this really has people speculating, because this particular screenshot is actually of the game's protagonists, or so we think. Uh, this is what she looks like, and um, this matches up with a previous leak from a user named Rönin, who leaked a lot of details about the next Fire Emblem game, and he specifically said that the main character is a woman with red and blue hair. And now we have this image. People have tried reverse searching it to see if it is found anywhere else on the internet, but they can't find anything. And what's even more interesting is that I actually showed a screenshot in the video that I made yesterday of uh, this dining hall looking area. And this appears to be that character from behind because you can see her red and blue hair. You, you can see that her hair is very long. And if we see her from the front, we can definitely see that it's the same character for sure. Uh, but apparently her name is Princess Diamants. And what I love about this name is that it actually means Princess Diamond in Norwegian. So I wonder if that's on purpose or not. So looking at her design, it kind of is all over the place. I mean, she's cute. Don't get me wrong. I kind of like it. She looks very short. I don't know if it's just the angle or her pose, but this does not strike me as a very tall character. She seems like she's like five foot four. She seems very tiny, uh, and I'm getting some Tsundere vibes from her. Like, she kind of reminds me a little bit of Severa. Like, she seems to have some attitude, and I'm kind of digging it. She has some shorts on, uh, she has some thigh highs, and she has a lot of colors and details going on. Her design is all over the place. The more I look at it, the more confused I get. I don't know if I like it or I hate it. It just kind of is like, she has so many different things things on. It's like they couldn't decide on a direction to take her in. Her hair is super long. It goes all the way down to the floor. Uh, and again, she has that split colored hair. It's blue and red at the same time, which is a very unique look for sure. She's wielding a sword, but she also holds her hand out, kind of like she's about to cast a spell. So it looks to me like this might be a magic character that wields swords, similar to Awakening's Robin. And I don't know if this is supposed to be an avatar or if it's supposed to be a main character. According to the leaker, it is the main protagonist of the game, Princess Diamant, aka Princess Diamond in Norwegian. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like an avatar to me, that's for sure. Um, if this is actually the next protagonist, then it could be a very interesting direction to take her in. Anyway, I'm gonna go through all the leaks that Rönin has posted about the game. Since we now have a character that looks like what he predicted, that means he might actually be onto something. Of course, it could also be the case that someone modified a screenshot to mimic his leaks. That has certainly happened before, so that does not mean that the leaks are real. But it means that there's a little bit more credibility to them now than there used to be. So I'm just going to go through everything he said about the supposed next Fire Emblem game. Project might be called Fire Emblem Engage. Game revolves around some sort of ring. You can summon every lord from the past games. The game appears to have two forms of multiplayer, online PvP and co-op missions. The central hub is smaller in size. The game has finished development. I don't buy the over a year thing though. The game is one route, like Awakening. And then he posts some information about this particular screenshot. Uh, he says, Those are supposedly unique classes, meaning they are likely essential to the story. Third from the top is the princess. Old man is tamer. Dude on the left is gold knight, I think. Dude below him is prince. Then he said, Rumored Fire Emblem princess's name is Diamant. That's what I said about the diamond. There's also a tank named Louis, rogue called Yunaka. And then the final things he said is, build is from December 2021. Ha, I'd say that proves the game wasn't finished. No weapon durability, but there is weapon forging. Weapon triangle is more punishing slash forgiving. Mini games to raise stats. Mascot character. I'm gonna say it folks, this game screams fate's design. So yeah, these are some very interesting leaks, and uh, it 
seems like there might be more to them than we first thought. So if this is actually true, then it looks like they're taking the game in more of a fatesy direction. That probably is going to mean that the story will suck ass. I'm not a huge fan of this Warriors engine that they insist on using for the newer Fire Emblem games. I personally think that Tree Houses was a very ugly looking game, and I am not a huge fan that they're continuing down this path. I really wish that they would try something more sprite based, something a little bit more traditional looking, back to maybe sort of like 2D style of Fire Emblem. But then again, Tree Houses and Fates did sell like crazy. Uh, Echoes, which was a more return to tradition, did not. So it is obvious that they are looking at what is working and what is not working, and they're copying what is working. And as much as I hate to admit it, Fates and Tree Houses has sold a lot of copies. So they're looking at that and they're saying, well, that clearly worked, so that's what we're gonna do more of. That's just how things work. We can't really help it. Now, I personally think that one of the reasons why Fates and Treehouses sold so well was because they happened to be released on a fresh console. I think this is a very underrated aspect of uh, games. I think the reason why Echoes didn't sell so well was because it was released on the 3DS, which was a very old console at the time. If we take a look at the history of Fire Emblem sales, that always seems to be a common factor. Whenever games are released early in the console's lifespan, they do really well. When they're released late into the console's lifespan, they do really poorly. Uh, and I'm not saying that Fates and Tree Houses didn't deserve to sell well. They were good games in their own right. However, I do think that their success is thanks to other factors. It's not just the fact that they were objectively good games. They did have a lot of fan service elements, which a lot of people liked, and there's nothing wrong with that. But personally, I do wish that they would focus a little bit more on solid gameplay and a solid story, rather than just endlessly recycling what works. That does tend to make a franchise go a little bit stale if they just shit out the same games over and over and over. And looking at these screenshots, even though they are from early builds, clearly, they do strike me as a bit of a Tree Houses slash Fates rehash. And, you know, I'm obviously still gonna play the shit out of it, and I'm gonna be excited for it because it's a Fire Emblem game, and I love Fire Emblem. But when I look at these leaks, it is clear to me that they're taking the game in a direction that I perhaps wouldn't have taken it in if I was in charge. But then again, I also have to accept that I'm a bit peculiar when it comes to these things. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, what do you guys think about Princess Diamond? Do you think she is a good-looking protagonist? Do you like her design? Uh, do you think she's cute? Or do you think she's weird-looking? I'm personally, I'm a little 50-50. I think she looks good. She kind of gives me Tsundere wipes, and you guys know I love my red-headed Tsundere girls, uh, but at the same time, her design is also very odd and strange, and it kind of looks like someone pressed randomize when creating their character in an MMO. It kind of just looks all over the place, and something about the color scheme that is just incredibly off to me, the combination of red and blue just doesn't look good to me. Then again, I am colorblind, so I do see colors differently to other people. So maybe this is just me. Love to hear what you guys have to say about her in the comment section. And let me know, do you think these leaks are legit or not? Or do you think this is fake? Leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more news. I'm going to be covering it as soon as it comes out. Uh, my name is Manx. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.